Hello and welcome back to another Construct 3 tutorial series. Uh, this one I am calling a uh, pig toss because that's just the theme I came up with. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. This is it. We have uh, some objects uh, falling from the sky. Those are tomatoes. We have some little missile carrots shooting up from the ground. Uh, we have a couple of cannons here. You can see we have a uh, the fuse is on fire with a particle effect. And then just a lovely background, some uh, text to keep score, and our main little guy, the pig. So the object is to when you is set up like a mobile game when you tap the screen our pig is going to shoot from one cannon to the other and you want to avoid uh, all the flying objects on the screen uh, so in our case uh, since we're doing it on a desktop here or laptop or whatever device uh, you are creating this game on uh, we will use the mouse click instead of the touch but it will set up the same if you were to play this on a mobile device so let's go ahead and play and there we go you can see our score updated one and we got a little particle effect a little puff of smoke when we shoot from each cannon and each time we make it across we get a score and then when we get hit our little guy uh, spins out of control falls off screen and we have the option to play again so it's the, a, a very easy just kinda a short little game but kind of fun to play I think and pretty easy to create there are uh, quite a few elements going on but uh, we will cover how all of them work so I'm gonna go ahead and get started I'm gonna start a new project and I will call this one uh, piggy toss because I already have a file named pig toss I'm going to leave this at the landscape 16 by 9. I like the uh, the horizontal screen for this type of game. So 854 by 480. Go ahead and create that. And as I always do, I go grab this viewport size. I copy it and then update the layout size and paste. All right, so we have our layout and viewport size here. And I am going to create a couple of layers. Uh, this is the part where I tell you that if you are using a free version of either Construct 3 or Construct 2, uh, we do not go over the event limit, the 50 event limit. Uh, but my screen is going to look a little different than yours. And I will be doing a few other things like uh, layers. If you have the free version, you can only have two, and that's fine. Everything will fit on two, but I'm going to create more because it is a little more organized. Also, in the project panel, the object types, all of your object types will be created in this folder. I will be creating subfolders. I will also be creating one family, but again, if you have the free version, not a big deal. We will work around that when the time comes. Over here, I'm going to create another layer. I'm going to call this one Game. And I'm going to click on this one, our default layer, and I'm going to call it Background. And I'm going to create another layer. And I'm going to call this uh, HUD. Put our HUD elements on there. And another one, and I'm going to call this uh, cannons and I'm gonna move it above the background so if you have a, a paid version of uh, construct 3 or 2 uh, these are the four layers that I'm going to uh, use if you have the free version just create a background and a game layer alright back in the projects bar I'm going to create some subfolders uh, this first one is going to be sprites. Create another one. I'm going to call this one meta. And one more. And this is going to be text. First things first, let's click on, uh, right click on object types folder and say add object type. 
Let's go down to input and select the touch. We can insert that and I'm going to slide that right into the meta folder. Again, if you have a free version, everything's just going to fit under this one folder. Uh, no big deal. All right. That should get us set up. Now let's, uh, let's create some sprites. And what I'm going to do is uh, I, I didn't spend a lot of time creating these sprites, but I didn't want to spend a lot of time in these videos going through it. So what I'm going to do is I will leave a link to all the sprites that I'm going to import here in just a second. Uh, you can go download those and use them, or you can create your own if you wish. But if you uh, do want to download them, go do that now and come back. And once you do, we will insert them just like this. I'm going to double click in the layer. I'm going to pick Sprite. Uh, click somewhere over there to place it. So I'm just going to drag each Sprite into this window. I have them in a folder off screen. So I'm going to drag in the first one and this is our pig. I'm just going to release it and that crops it for us. So it should be somewhere around 64 by 59. Uh, there are a couple things we need to do. First off, I'm going to right click on any one of these points. Uh, make sure your bounding box tool is selected. Right click on one of the points and say set to bounding box. And then I'm going to adjust some of these. I'm going to bring this down, uh, let's say, five. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and I'll bring these bottom ones up to, let's say, 50, uh, 57. Does that work? Uh, 50, 57. Yeah, that works for me. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is uh, I don't want the bounding box to be more than the image itself because then when somebody is playing the game, the collision with the other objects on the screen might seem kind of, I don't know, like you got cheated out of something. <laughs> so I'm just going to uh, change these bring them in about two pixels each on the X. So that one will be two and this one will be, uh, oh, that's the Y. This one will be 62 on the X, 62. There we go. So something like that. Uh, there's the X and Y for each one of these points. And then with the origin tool selected, uh, we want this one right in the middle. So quick assign and middle. And oh well, actually, I take that back. I'm going to move it down a little. Uh, just because the middle of his head is not the middle of the box because we have a few extra pic pixels up here. So I'm going to move it down just a little. Uh, I'll say 32 by 31 for the origin. All right, I'm going to X out of that and I'm going to rename this Piggy, and there's our little piggy. I'm going to create another sprite by double clicking on the layer and selecting sprite. I'll click over here somewhere. Now I'm going to just drag in the tomato. And we can zoom in a little. And uh, the bounding box, I'm going to do the same thing we did with the pig. Uh, right click on one of those, set to bounding box, and then I'm just going to I'll move the X in one pixel, the Y down, uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll just do it that way. Okay. This X will be 19 and this Y will be one. We'll bring this Y up to 15. Same thing here. and that X to 1 and this X to 19. There we go. So uh, we got 1 and 1. There we go. Uh, 19 and 1, 19 and 15, and 1 by 15. And our origin is right in the middle. 
I'm going to exit out of that. I'm going to name this Tomato. There we go. Uh, another sprite. Put it over here. I'm going to drag in from my folder of the downloaded sprites. I'm going to just drag in the carrot. And we'll set our bounding box. That Well, all right. <laughs> There we go. Uh, I'm going to bring this down something like that. Let's say, what is that, eight? Now let's do nine. And this one will be nine on the Y. Uh, let's bring this one up to 38. Same thing here, 38. All right. So zero by nine, 10 by nine. 0 by 38 and 10 by 38. And then our uh, origin I'm going to put at the bottom middle and I'm just going to hit 2 on my number pad on the right side of the keyboard and that's going to send it to the bottom middle. Alright, looks good. Let's X out of that and rename it carrot. Alright, let's make another sprite. Let's just click right here, and then I'm going to drag in the background sprite. And the only thing we need to do is our origin, move it to the top left, which will be 7 on the keypad. And then we can exit out of that, come up to position, and that'll be 0, 0, and we can rename it background. While we have the background sprite selected, Let's uh, choose layer and put it on the background. And then we can go over to layers and we can lock the, black, the background. And then let's select cannons, the layer cannons. And then we can come back over here and double click. Let's create another sprite. Put it right there somewhere. And I'm going to drag in the cannon sprite. There we go. Now there's a few little tricky things we got to do with this one. So first off, I'm going to put the origin at the bottom middle. And that's uh, two on the keypad, or you can right click up here, do quick, quick assign, and just say bottom. And then I'm going to right click up here and add a new image point. And image point one, is going to be in the top right corner. It's going to be 9 on the keypad. And then I'm going to right click over here again, add another image point. And image point 2 is going to be right down here uh, about, I would say, let's see, that's uh, 130. Yeah, I'm going to do about, let's say, 18 by 128. It's going to be at the towards the bottom of our fuse. All right, and let's go back over here, right click and add one more image point. And that is going to be right up here and just kind of guess somewhere right in the middle of this black uh, ring on the end. So somewhere right about there or right about there. All right, that'll work. So we have our original origin point right there at the bottom image point one top right, image point two at the bottom of the fuse, and image point three on the uh, the lip of the cannon. And oh, the bounding box. We are going to right click on one of the points and say set to bounding box. And then we're going to come up here and right click on this one and add one point. So you should have a point at all four corners plus one more and I'm just gonna move this up and this one over so that is going to be our bounding box That's something something like that let's make sure we cover up the sprite okay I think that'll work okay let's exit out of that come up here and let's rename this Canon underscore left. That's going to be the cannon we have on the left. And then I'm going to right click on the cannon and I'm going to clone object type. 
and then I'll click over here somewhere and then we can double click it go into it and you can see our bounding box and all our image points are there because we cloned it it's a, a an exact clone of it but I'm gonna come up here where it says mirror horizontally and I'm gonna turn it around so now you can go through all our image points are uh, flipped as well we don't have to change anything and we can exit out of that rename this Canon right Canon underscore right okay let's click on our left Canon and we can put this in place I'm gonna put the X at 64 and the Y at 430 that should place it somewhere right about there and then for the right one Canon right I am going to put the X at 790 and the Y at 430. Alright, it's coming together, looking good. Uh, let's go ahead and create another sprite. Say sprite, I'm going to click somewhere here in the middle and I'm going to resize it. This is going to be a width of 200 and a height of 100. Okay, uh, I'm going to put the origin point right in the middle, looks like it is set our bounding box to the full size of the box looks like it is and I'm going to take the fill tool and I'm going to pick a pink color get some red in here uh, something like that uh, I think that'll work and I'm just going to fill our area then I'm going to pick a little bit darker I'm going to slide this over and if you uh, I'm going to drop that saturation down just a little bit. All right. Uh, if you followed any of my other tutorials, you've probably seen this little little thing I do. Uh, this is going to be our play button. So I'm going to go to our grid, configure grid, and I'll set it at 5 by 5. And then I'll turn it on. I'm going to take the line tool with this darker pink color, and I'm going to come down here and create a line just like that along these grids and do the same thing from there up to there and then I'm going to take the eyedropper tool get our original pink color and then slide it over to pretty light uh, not quite white but very close then grab our line tool again and just start up here in the corner and drag all the way to right about there and the same thing here all the way to right about there then we can grab our pencil tool and zoom in and I'm going to turn the grid off and then just start from right here and do like that there we go and then I will come over here zoom in and do the same thing something like that and then with that color still selected we can take the fill tool and fill this top outer edge take our eyedropper tool again and get this darker color and then with the fill tool we can fill that in and there's us a little button let's exit out of that uh, rename it uh, I'm gonna call it BTN underscore play and then I'm going to set the position to uh, let's see 854 that's going to be 427 is the middle and 240 is the middle for the Y so that should be right in the middle let's uh, double click create another sprite I know it's a lot of sprites but we get them out of the way and we don't have to make them anymore so I'm going to just click up here somewhere and I'm going to make this uh, I don't know 50 by 10 and I'm just gonna pick uh, like a color like that I'm gonna fill it and make sure uh, my bounding box and my origin is in the middle there I'm gonna X out of it and I'm gonna rename it destroy and then I'm just going to drag the edges out something like that I'm gonna put this at uh, 425 by minus 110 
that'll give us some room because we're, our pig's gonna uh, have the opportunity to fly up and kind of off the screen but we don't want him to be destroyed by the top one but uh, we do want another one of these down below so I'm with this highlighted I'm going to hold control on the keyboard click and drag a copy all the way down somewhere around there we'll set the position at uh, let's say 425 by uh, let's say 560 that'll work and actually uh, I'm going to pick that destroy. I realize we've been putting uh, this stuff on the wrong layer. So uh, select your destroy object in the, the object, uh, object types folder. Come over here and let's change the layer to game. And click on your play button and let's change that one to HUD. Uh, and if you're working with the free version, you only have the two layers put the background sprite and the canon sprites on the background layer. Everything else that we make will go on the game layer. I know that can be kind of confusing, but I'm going to take all my sprites and put them in my sprites folder. We have a couple more sprites to make. Let's double click and come down to particles. And let's make a particle. We can put it off to the side over here somewhere. I'm going to resize this to uh, 5 by 5 and zoom in and I'm going to pick a yellow uh, a nice bright yellow too uh, slide that over a little make it nice and bright alright and with the pencil tool I am going to fill in the four corners and one in the middle all right exit out of that let's call this uh, particles underscore we'll call them sparks particles underscore sparks sure all right let's uh, come down here to the properties and I'm going to bump the rate up to 200 I want this to be in all directions, so I'm going to say 359, and it's going to be a continuous spray with a speed of 300, a size of 5, let's see, acceleration, I'm going to bump up to uh, minus 250, uh, angle randomizer, I'll say 20. Speed randomizer at 800, fade to invisible, timeout is going to be 0 0.2. And I'll show you on mine, I have the preview, I can just preview it right here. That is what it looks like. And you can imagine it's going to go right down here at the bottom of the fuse. So it will look like the fuse is burning. All right, uh, let's double click and go down and create another particles somewhere over here. I'm going to resize this to 10 by 10. I'll zoom in a little. And I'm going to pick uh, just a pure white. And with the pencil tool, uh, I'm just, whoops, there we go. Uh, I'm just going to uh, kind of make an outline. Nothing, uh, I mean, you can copy this exactly if you want, but I'm really just making a like a blob. Um, of course, if you have actual artistic ability, uh, don't don't think that you need to follow me for the game to work. This is uh, the size is pretty important, but other than that, okay, something like that. Uh, yeah, make whatever you want, or you can follow this. All right. So with the fill tool, I filled that, and then I'm going to come up here, I'm going to select this, uh, just a black color, either a black, pure black or pure white, and slide it up to the white, and then slide it down just slightly to get kind of an off-white, not too gray, but let's see. Uh, take the pencil tool again, and I'm just going to, again, 
no method here. I'm just making random shape. Uh, something like, oops. Something kind of like that. Uh, and there we go. I'm going to take my fill tool, fill in those. So, uh, yeah, something like that. Uh, maybe a little bit darker of a gray. And then with the fill tool selected, there we go. Uh, I'm cool with that. All right, once you've uh, finished making yours, uh, let's X out of it and let's rename this particles underscore smoke. All right, and we can slide these particles into our sprites folder if you have one. Okay, only two more things to create and we are done. I'm going to double click, I'm going to scroll down to text, and I'm going to place it uh, right there. Let's rename it uh, txt underscore play, and I'm going to change the layer to the HUD. And if you uh, have the free version, just put it on the game layer. Scroll down and let's change the text to play in all caps. I'm going to choose a different font. Um, I think impact, pretty impactful, size of 60, and the color of, I'll choose this pink color that I have up there, and I'm going to make it almost white, but not quite, so something like that, you can read off these numbers, or you can just make it white, or whatever color you want, I'll hit OK. And I'm going to change the horizontal alignment to center, vertical alignment to center, and the origin to center. And then we can resize our box here. And I am going to set the position to uh, four, no, 427, that sounds good, by 240. Okay, well, I will uh, move it up a little. So click on your text object and we can just hit the up arrow on the keyboard and maybe up one more. Okay, something like that. So uh, it depends on how far you uh, stretch the box out too. But this is what I ended up with. And I'm going to double click, select text again and somewhere right up here in the middle and we can rename this txt underscore score and scroll down to the properties uh, the text doesn't matter uh, I'm gonna leave this one Arial make it uh, 16 size and I'll just click bold so we can see it uh, looks good to me I'm gonna leave uh, all this the same or leave it how it is at its default and just move this uh, somewhere right about there all right the placement isn't too important and there we go all right I'm going to put my text pieces in my text folder and I believe that is it we have created all our sprites a couple of particles and uh, all the text that we're going to need. So in the next video, we will start putting this stuff together and assigning behaviors and programming how it works. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to save.